when we began, Rick asked me to find out if there was any detrimental effects to the hemp oil. As we searched, we couldn't find any. And the research kept coming back with all the good aspects of the medicine. And as we kept looking, then we ran into Dr. Guzman in Spain, who's done research since 1999 in the hemp oil. The International Cannabinoid Research Society has been researching it for 17 years. They have research papers from various researchers and research organizations, including Health Canada. Well, in our research, we haven't been able to find anything that appears detrimental. Everything is beneficial from the oil. Cannabis and hemp traditionally have been used to treat alcoholics and recovering drug addicts, and it hasn't changed over the years. They're still using it today in some cases, but most medical facilities don't recognize it. I believe they don't recognize the product because of the disinformation we've been handed over the years. It's touted as a, an illicit drug rather than a medicine. In the research that we have, the, the most amazing part of the product is the medicinal value to it. Especially in the eastern countries, yet mainstream medicine refuses to recognize the validity of it. To anyone that would say that I am nothing but a high-class drug dealer, uh, to that I would just have to laugh. I mean, drug dealers, they sell it for a big price and they make the money. I've been giving it away since 2003. Well, I'd have to be the stupidest drug dealer in history to give it away. No, would <laughs> How do you make any money if you're giving the stuff away? <laughs> well, that's exactly right. <laughs> I'm just trying to help people, Christian. I mean, that's all this is about. And I want people to know how to heal themselves. In 1975, I was listening to CKDH radio when the announcer came on with a report of THC from the marijuana and or hemp plant killing cancer cells. Three years previously, in 1972, I had watched my 25-year-old cousin die a horrible death from cancer. So when I heard this report, it certainly caught my attention. But time goes by, and I never heard any more reports, so I assumed that the report I had heard could not be true, or the system would be using THC to cure cancer. In 1997, I received a serious head injury at work. The doctors put me on prescription drugs, but these drugs did nothing to alleviate my condition, and many of the drugs had horrible side effects. In late 1998, I watched an episode of The Nature of Things, entitled Reefer Madness 2. Dr. David Suzuki interviewed many people with serious medical conditions who had been using hemp as a treatment. The results were amazing. After seeing this program, I purchased some hemp and tried it. Just smoking hemp did more for my medical condition than all those pills the doctors were giving me, and I told them so. I asked many doctors for a prescription for hemp, but was refused. All the doctors would do is tell me that hemp was bad for the lungs, and to stay away from hemp. It's still under study. Even my family doctor said it was bad for the lungs. So I asked him what he thought about me taking the essential oil from the hemp plant and ingesting it orally as a medication. The doctor agreed that this would be a much more medicinal way to use this drug, but would still not give me a prescription, so I could acquire this drug legally. In 2001, my family doctor informed me that there was nothing more they could do. They had nothing left to try on me, so I was on my own. I continued producing and taking hemp oil as my only medication. Slowly, my thinking processes cleared from the effects of all those chemical drugs the doctors had given me, and everyone around me saw the improvement in my condition. The oil had worked wonders for me. In late 2002, my family doctor examined three areas on my skin which he presumed to be skin cancer. One was close to my right eye, another on my left cheek, and another on my chest. In January 2003, the cancer close to my right eye was surgically removed, and they were going to schedule me to have the other two cancers removed at a later date. About a week after the surgery by my eye, the area was infected and very angry looking. I was examining where the surgery had been done when the report I had heard on the radio in 1975 popped back into my mind. I knew the oil I produced had concentrated THC in it, so I put some oil on two bandages and applied them to the other two areas of skin cancer. In four days, both cancers were gone.
Needless to say, I was very excited about the hemp oil curing my skin cancer. So I went to my doctor's office for a copy of my pathology report, which stated that I had basal cell carcinoma. I informed the receptionist that the cancer had returned and that I had cured it and the other two cancers with hemp oil. The reaction of the receptionist mystified me. She went rigid, saying the doctor will not go there. The doctor will not prescribe this. I was standing in my doctor's office telling them that I cured my cancer with hemp oil. And they didn't want to hear it? Foolishly, at the time, I thought the system wanted a cure for cancer. Seeing the receptionist's reaction to the hemp oil left me feeling very uneasy. It felt like the twilight zone. In April 2003, I contacted the pain management center in Halifax. I had been told by a friend that the center might be able to provide me with a license to possess hemp. All I got was a recorded message stating that there was a 21-month waiting period and that you must be referred by your physician. Now where did that leave me? My family doctor wouldn't even talk about hemp medicine. Big time controversy brewing in a small town over this. Is it a cure-all or contraband? Now here's somebody dying from cancer, they're not dying anymore. Here's somebody that had something else, well they're, they're cured. And this is what's doing it. But in a small Nova Scotia town, one man is trying to get the word out about what he says are the healing properties of hemp oil. And as Ross Lord explains, where he's spreading the word has created a major headache with no cure in sight. In McCann, Nova Scotia, this oil is gaining a reputation as a miracle drug. That's a cure right there. Oil extracted from marijuana plants. Rick Simpson has been making it and giving it to friends and neighbors. He calls it hemp oil. Others know it as weed oil. In small doses, he says, it makes you well without getting you high. Hemp oil containing THC has been touted as an effective treatment for many diseases, including cancer. But distributing THC, the psychoactive ingredient in marijuana, is illegal. And that has some Nova Scotia users worried their supply of medicinal hemp oil will disappear. Global's Ray Bradshaw has the story. I'm used to it. Hemp oil is being used no, by some people in the Macan area of Nova Scotia to help in the treatment of cancer. Now they're worried their hemp oil will be taken away. People are being very scared uh, of uh, the RCMP coming in their home and, and taking their medicine from them. And uh, the whole community itself is, is living in fear down here, including my family. That's because the hemp oil Rick Simpson is making contains THC, an illegal substance. He says there's medical proof that THC kills cancer cells. Rick Dwyer says Simpson's hemp oil cured his father's cancer and other diseases. It took the fluid off his lungs. It repaired the prostate. Uh, it did so many things for him. He doesn't even take his insulin now for his diabetes because it controls his diabetes. Amherst RCMP told us they won't likely track down people who use hemp oil for medicinal purposes. But the RCMP say it is illegal to provide people with hemp oil containing THC, whether or not the supplier is paid. Simpson grew marijuana on his property and made hemp oil from it. This fall, RCMP confiscated the plants, but didn't arrest or charge him. They took it here, so what's to stop them from going house to house? Simpson says without marijuana to make hemp oil, He's being unable to supply people. He's hoping the attitude toward the drug will soon turn around. People are dying for no damn reason. I'd like to see the most medicinal plant in the world just get the recognition it deserves. For Global News in Macan, this is Ray Bradshaw reporting.